Hi, everyone. On behalf of Secretary Mike Pompeo, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the first virtual Secretary of State's Award for Corporate Excellence, or ACE. Since 1999, the ACE has recognized U.S. companies that exemplify American values through their responsible business conduct overseas. This year, we received many impressive nominations across the three categories. Innovation, sustainability, energy security, and women's economic empowerment. This year's three winners are worthy ambassadors for the strength of the American brand. They represent the very best of American business values. Hard work, innovation, promotion of equality, and free enterprise in the service of their local communities. Okay, so without further ado, our winners are, drum roll please. First, Coca-Cola, Azerbaijan, which is a shining example of bolstering prosperity overseas. It's empowered thousands of women through business training for women entrepreneurs, advancing women-led businesses, and promoting entrepreneurship among young women. Second, healthcare firm Abbott, which is helping to strengthen Rwanda's healthcare system. Bringing COVID-19 test kits, diabetes testing strips, and machines, and antenatal testing to rural parts of Rwanda. Third and finally, AES Panama. It's natural gas-fired power plant and reception terminal. The first in Panama and Central America has spared more than 100 tons of carbon dioxide emissions and generated savings of more than $90 million compared to the import and generation through traditional fossil fuels. And now it is my distinct pleasure to welcome a superstar, Assistant Secretary for Economic and Business Affairs, Manisha Singh, to give you more details on our outstanding ACE winners. Our award winners this year demonstrate that it is indeed possible to do well and to do good. These companies showcase the best of American values abroad by addressing local needs and responding to challenges like the pandemic. They are contributing to a recovering global economy with greater possibilities for everyone. Our first recipient in the category of women's economic empowerment is Coca-Cola Azerbaijan. I'm proud to celebrate an American company that puts women's economic empowerment at the forefront of its business model, a proven successful business strategy. Since 2014, Coca-Cola Azerbaijan has empowered more than 5,000 women through its key projects providing business training for rural women entrepreneurs, advancing women-led businesses in the tourism sector, and promoting entrepreneurship among young women. The percentage of women in their workforce, including in leadership positions, reflects the importance that the company places on including all parts of the population in economic success. Our second winner in the category of innovation is Abbott Rwanda. Abbott's central philosophy is improving healthcare access, preventing and treating diseases such as HIV, diabetes, and heart disease. Their advances in innovation have helped strengthen Rwanda's healthcare system and created new opportunities for healthcare, especially in traditionally underserved remote areas. These innovations help to lower local health costs and enable the use of resources for other community needs. Abbott has focused on sustainability by building capacity and strengthening laboratory infrastructure to support health sector maintenance over the long term. American companies operating abroad demonstrate why community investment should be a top priority of every business. Our past and present ACE winners are defining what it means to be responsible and successful enterprises around the world. Next, we will hear from my friend and colleague, Frank Fannin, Assistant Secretary for the Bureau of Energy Resources, 
to tell us more about the winner of the first ever award for sustainable energy security. It's a great pleasure to be with you today and to recognize the incredible work done by this year's ACE recipients. As Under Secretary Kroc and Assistant Secretary Singh have said so well, the ACE is a unique opportunity to recognize the amazing work that American companies do on the front lines of diplomacy, promoting the American brand and American values by providing concrete benefits for the host country citizens. The work done by AES Panama, this year's winner in the category for sustainable energy security, typifies the type of engagement that sets ACE winners apart. AES has been operating in Panama for 21 years and has invested more than $2.5 billion there, becoming the largest private company in the energy sector in the country. With an installed capacity of 1,000 megawatts, AES is now supplying more than 30% of the country's growing electricity needs. It's also expanding distribution to other Central American countries to respond to the region's accelerating electricity demand. By incorporating natural gas into the energy mix, AES not only provided energy diversity to consumers in Panama and elsewhere in Central America, but also lowered emissions in Panama's energy sector. I congratulate AES for its vision and extraordinary execution to meet Panama's growing demand for clean energy and for contributing to sustainable energy security in the region. Worldwide partners want to work with American businesses because they trust our values, our high quality, and responsible standards. This year's ACE winners demonstrate the strength of those American values. We at the State Department work hard to support U.S. companies and are proud of the leadership of U.S. businesses around the globe.